sculptured rocks national lakeshore located along Lake Superior in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan is home to beautiful, colorful sandstone cliffs, arches, waterfalls, beaches, and more. In summer of 2023, we took a Pictured Rocks Cruises tour along the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. If you're new to this channel, my name is Stoof with Travel Season. Thank you for joining us in this video. We are going to be talking about our Pictured Rocks Cruises itinerary, some information for booking your own cruise to the Pictured Rocks, and we're going to share some tips from our experience that might make your trip more enjoyable. While I have you guys here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more travel adventures like this one. I'm at the National Park Service. I'd like to welcome you to Pictured Rocks National Lake Shark. Pictured Rocks was established in 1966 as America's first national lake shark and is one of only three national lake shores in the country. We selected to do an 11 a.m. tour, which departed from the dock at Munising and took us along the National Lakeshore, stopping at various highlights along the way. There are several cruise options offered by this company. Number one is the Classic Cruise, number two is a Sunset Cruise, and number three is the Spray Falls Cruise. We selected the Spray Falls Cruise because it took you along the same route as the Classic Cruise, with the addition of Spray Falls, which is one extra waterfall a little bit farther northeast than the classic cruise will go to. The Spray Falls cruise also has a high speed catamaran type of boat, so it's a little bit shorter of a cruise. It's about two hours and 15 minutes, two and a half hours, versus the classic cruise being closer to a three hour ride. We did our cruise around 11 a.m. However, as you'll see in our footage, a lot of the pictured rocks are in shadow. Because these rocks are facing the northwest, they run on that diagonal plane, you are more likely to get better views and pictures of the colors in the rocks if you do an afternoon or a sunset cruise. When your cruise first departs from the dock at Munising, the first highlight you'll see is Grand Island on the north and west side of the boat as you're heading north, northeast. The next highlight is a view of Miner's Castle, which can also be seen from land if you are doing some hiking at the park. It's pretty cool to see from the water though, you get a totally different perspective. The next viewpoint you slow down and take in the sights is at the Painted Coves. These are vast sandstone walls and some coves that have eroded away that are super colorful, lots of oranges and browns and purples, all created from springs that seeped out over the rock, uh, which were rich in minerals with iron, copper, leaving those beautiful colors behind. You continue heading north, northeast, seeing more beautiful caves along the way. Lover's Leap is one of the big arches that you'll see. You might see some kayakers under there, checking out the arch from below. Another cool sight along this tour is the Grand Portal, which has many little caverns, an archway that had some rockfall below it. As you continue along the path, the next highlight is the Battleship Rocks. This was really cool to see as you are cruising on the boat because the battleships are these rock outcroppings that resemble a row of battleships lined up. And as you're moving farther along the coast, drifting closer to them, the viewpoint changes. They don't quite look like those battleship rocks anymore, but it is really cool to see them from that perspective and how they change as you keep going past. Chapel Cove was one of my favorite stops along the tour. They take you into this narrow, tight little cove where the rocks are maybe just five, six feet away from you on both sides of the boat. The boat just barely fits in there. They only do this stop when the water's very calm and it's a clear day uh, for safety reasons, but it was very impressive how the 
boat captain was able to just wiggle straight on in there and just back right on out of that little cove. And the water is a beautiful emerald green right here. You get such a beautiful close up view of those colorful rocks. And the last stop farthest north, northeast was Spray Falls for us. And as I mentioned, there wasn't a huge amount of water coming off of Spray Falls. We weren't getting any mist or spray on us on the boat, uh, but it was a beautiful waterfall to see coming down the cliffs and into Lake Superior. Our final stop on our cruise was the East Channel Lighthouse, which is a historic lighthouse on the southern tip of Grand Islands. The East Channel Lighthouse was originally constructed in 1868 as a guide for boats traveling in from Lake Superior. The East Channel Lighthouse was restored during the early 2000s and it still stands as a reminder of what the past sailors used to find safe harbor. So after stopping at that lighthouse, we just made it back to the boat dock, got off the boat, and that concluded our two and a half hour Pictured Rocks boat tour. If you are thinking about booking a Pictured Rocks boat tour, I highly recommend it. I just recommend booking your tour later in the afternoon or possibly doing the sunset cruise. I also recommend the Spray Falls cruise because it was nice to see that extra waterfall and to be on the faster boat getting back a little bit more quickly than the classic cruise. You are welcome to bring snacks on this cruise and non-alcoholic beverages. The cruise also offers soda and water for $1 cash, I believe it was. And once again, I have a link for the Pictured Rocks Cruises website in the description under this video. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed watching our boat tour. We enjoyed it so much in person. We just wish we went a little later in the afternoon to see a bit more color in those rocks, but it was a wonderful experience. Very peaceful, calming boat ride. If you have additional questions about this tour, please leave a comment under this video and I'll get back to you to the best of my knowledge. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day and happy travels.